Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and I'm very excited to announce that the No Man's Sky Update 1.5 is just about to drop. This was totally unexpected. It was announced through the Waking Titan alternate reality game, and it's it's going to drop in in about 12 hours of the time of recording this video. Um, let me catch you up to speed with what just happened. Um, the on the Waking Titan website, when people typed in status, it um, gave the same code five monarch repository and it said data loss imminent and then command update mercury and loop 16 so there were two new commands well loop 16 isn't new um, we had loop 16 before and it would say that loop 16 was sleeping but now it's when you type in loop 16 it says help so loop 16 is calling for help and when people typed in mercury it said mercury dot x x x four x's where version 1.5 password hint and then eight x's and then a quote descend from night i share the blood of nightmares look forward to the gates of horn and ivory actually that wasn't that clue wasn't on waking titan well maybe it was i forget where people found that clue not right now kitty um but that was the clue for the password it was eight x's and then a quote descend from night i share the blood of nightmares look forward to the gates of horn and ivory very creepy cryptic uh clue and and then the status command changed to say mercury process build and then four x's again ready to load branch version 1.5 send password code in hex to telegram mercury hg80 telegram i guess is some kind of web app that lets you send telegrams to people or something i don't know but so we were supposed to figure out what the password was eight letters and that quote as a clue um uh, I forget, I didn't see where they found it, but, well, first, I guess the word Penelope was attempted as a password, since it was a four-letter word, um, and on WakingTitan.com it said Penelope password was not correct, and then somebody tried the password Morpheus, and it said access granted downloading. So, um... <laughs> Um, Morpheus, uh, a lot of people are drawing it as a connection to, um, you know, the Matrix, Morpheus, the character in the movie, the Matrix, but it's actually, the, the quote came from something to do with, uh, darn, I forget, it, it's like a Greek god or something, but anyway, the, the password was Morpheus, and then Sean Murray tweeted right after that. He tweeted some kind of cryptic message, like a lot of his tweets lately, but at the bottom it said 11BST, and then somewhere else, oh yeah, on, on wakingtime.com, the status command updated again, and it read... Process started by community, ETA, estimated time of, time of arrival, 11 o'clock BST. And then there was a bit.ly link, and it just led to Sean Murray's tweet um, that says 11 BST at the bottom. So, they, they're, from this it seems that they're basically confirming, because Mercury process in the first Waking Titan was the code for No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is the Mercury process, because 
Hello Games initials is HG, which is the chemical symbol for mercury. Um, so that's like the, the Waking Titan code term for No Man's Sky is the mercury process. So it says, mercury process, build, and then four X's, ready to load branch version 1.5. We sent in the password, now it says that it's downloading, and the process was started by a community, and the ETA is 11 o'clock BST. So, from that, they've basically confirmed that tomorrow morning, um, it, it doesn't say AM or PM, but in the UK, they use military time, which doesn't have AM or PM. So 11 o'clock is always what we in America refer to as AM. So 11 o'clock AM, which is basically, I believe, 6 AM in on the East Coast, I believe. So at 6 AM, at least according to all this, 6 a.m. EST, No Man's Sky Update 1.5 is going to download to everybody. At least, I'm pretty sure, I mean, if, if they would say all of this and it not be that, then they're going to have a lot of really angry people because it pretty much confirms that we're getting the update tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to, other than just announcing that, this is, you know, a Waking Titan... 1.5 update, but it's also my announcement video for No Man's Sky update 1.5 releasing. Um, I want to caution a, a few things to expect. If this is your first No Man's Sky update, um, most likely the No Man's Sky universe will be regenerated because they're jumping to 1.5, so they're almost definitely going to regenerate everything. So all the planets are going to change, your base will get moved to another position on whatever planet you're on, and your your home planet's going to be completely different. So, like, you know, my, sadly, my beautiful creative mode home planet here is probably not going to exist anymore tomorrow. It'll probably be something ugly, or maybe it'll be something even better, who knows. But just expect that you're not going to keep your home planet. Maybe. Probably. I mean, it's possible they might not regenerate the universe, but if they're jumping to 1.5, it's almost definitely going to regenerate everything. So just expect that you're going to lose your favorite planet, and you're just going to have to find a new home planet, probably. The other thing is bugs. If it's anything like 1.3, 1.3 had a lot of really bad game-breaking bugs. So my suggestion is back up your saves right now because some people actually lost their save files and stuff. And the people who didn't were those that backed them up somewhere so that once they patched the bug that ruined their save, they were able to go back to a previous save and the bug didn't ruin the save. So, if you're on PlayStation 4 and you have PlayStation Plus, you can use cloud storage to back up your game, and I would also use a USB drive to also back up your save on there. So you've got a couple safe spots for your save file for the game, because if they're jumping to 1.5, it's probably gonna bring a lot of bugs. Um, it would be nice if they play tested enough and not have a lot of bugs, but I'm guessing it's probably going to still be a lot of bugs, but oh well. So back up your save, and I assume there's some way to back up your save on PC, probably just copying files or something. But back up your saves, expect that there's going to be bugs, um, and we'll just deal with that when the time comes. But, of course, this is very, very exciting. Um... <laughs> I was not expecting to suddenly get an update all of a sudden, but here we are. Um, they basically confirmed it through Waking Titan. Um, they said yesterday in Waking Titan that there was going to be a giveaway through one of their partners. Apparently, an update is a giveaway to them, I guess. So, the giveaway is everyone getting an update. 
which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I was not expecting this, but the thing is, the Waking Titan ARG seems like it's just barely started. So for them to have an update this early when the when the ARG has just started seems like they're doing what we suggested during the first Waking Titan. In the first Waking Titan, a lot of people wanted us to have the update and then have the ARG be involved in game. And it seems like that's probably what's going to happen now because Waking Titan is just getting started off. If we have an update, then we're probably going to be participating in the ARG within the game and outside of the game. So, and like I said, I myself and lots of other people kept calling for them to do something like that, to make the alternate reality game part of the No Man's Sky video game instead of just being something outside of it. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. Because, like I said, Loop 16 is calling for help, and if you're like me and you believe that Loop 16 is the Atlas, it is No Man's Sky simulation itself, then our No Man's Sky simulation is in danger and we need to help save it, I guess. We need to save the universe of No Man's Sky. So hopefully I'm right and <laughs> we are going to get to save the No Man's Sky universe inside the simulation and outside of it. So that's pretty awesome. But just be expecting to lose your home planet and also be prepared for lots of game-breaking bugs. <laughs> because the funny thing is, in the Waking Titan ARG right now, Loop 16 is, is glitching out, it's crashing, it's being destroyed by some kind of system failure. So if there are bugs, they can kind of explain them away for a bit and say that, oh, that's 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 loop 16 crashing and being destroyed so but I'm sure they'll patch the bugs after a while but they might allow the bugs to be part of the ARG in a way but make sure you back up your save just to be safe so you don't lose your save file so anyway that's it um, it's looking like 6 a.m. Eastern Time, March 29th, 2018, we're going to be getting No Man's Sky Update 1.5. So, that's it. I hope I'm not wrong. If I am, then I'll be in trouble with people for announcing this, but so will Hello Games, because they pretty much announced this update in the ARG. So, anyway, pretty sure we're getting an update. Hopefully I'm not wrong. So that's it. That's the big announcement. Um, I will definitely catch you all tomorrow. I'm tempted to take off work since the update is landing early tomorrow morning. But I am not going to do that. I'm not going to be irresponsible. So I will be back tomorrow evening for my update 1.5 first impressions video and then I'll start live streaming as I explore and discover all the new stuff in the new update. So looking forward to experiencing the new update with you all tomorrow. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.